Hey lovies, welcome back to another delicious recipe and on today's recipe we are going to be transforming our potatoes in our kitchen into these delicious potato wedges and we are also going to be making this nice guacamole sauce to enjoy this delicacy. So guys, let's get started with this recipe. So guys, right here I have my already peeled potatoes and I'm going to be slicing it into some nice potato wedges. So when I'm done slicing the potatoes, I will get a clean bowl and I will transfer them into my bowl. So these are the spices I'm going to be using. Do check out the description box so you can get the list of them. I will start by adding in some salt. And I will add in some olive oil. I'll mix it up together and I'll go ahead and add in some black peppers, some ginger powder, some chili powder and also some chili flakes. So I'll mix it up together properly. So guys, at this moment, I'm already preheating my oven on 230 degrees for about 10 minutes. So I'll get in my oval tray and I will line it with some foil paper and grease it with some oil. I will spread in the potatoes and spread it up properly so they will all bake evenly. And I will put it in my oven to bake on 230 degrees for about 30 minutes. So right now I'll go ahead and peel my avocado and I'm going to mash it into a very soft puree. I'll add in some nicely chopped parsley. And I'll also add in a half lemon juice. I'll add in a pinch of salt. And I will stir it up and that's my nice guacamole sauce ready. So after baking my potatoes for 30 minutes, I will go ahead and grill it for 10 minutes to have it nice and crunchy. So guys, that's it. So simple and easy for this delicious, yummy Mott watery potato wedges. Yes, yeah, so guys, if you did enjoy watching this recipe, please don't forget to help me to hit on that like button. Also, click on the red subscribe button, click on the bell icon that goes with it. That way, you will be notified anytime I post delicious and interesting recipes like this. And also, do drop me a comment letting me know if you love this recipe. Till I see you again, be happy. Bye.